So if you are a marketer and just beginning with Jira, you are probably one of those two camps. Jira is not for me, it's for developers or it's just moving task from to do to done. Well, that's totally not true and I know it now. So if you are looking for a perfect tool for your marketing team or your solo work, I will show you how to take the first steps. Create a new project, find the project button here on the top bar navigation, create project. And now we have the first decision to make, meaning what kind of board and project do you need? So if you are a marketer, I highly recommend working with work management or marketing, but work management is a little bit more wider. So uh, those are templates for non-technical team like HR, marketing, or for example, design. So here you have predefined templates that you can choose. So let's go with simple project management. Also, if you click see details, you will see that this template is recommended also for marketing teams. So it seems quite perfect. Let's use it. Okay, now let's name it, for example, marketing. And now here, click show more. And okay, let's name it marketing. If you click show more, you will see also your uh, project key. And here you have project type. You can choose between team managed and company managed, but as you can see, company managed project can be created only by admins. But here's the key. If this project is only for your team and you don't need to integrate it with other projects in your company, team managed is perfectly fine right now. One more word about company managed projects. Um, those words allows for more advanced customization and cross-team collaboration, but they are more complex and also require admin support. So for this video, let's stick with team managed. And if you want to learn more about the differences, I will, will link another video in this description. And now let's create the project. So your first marketing project is ready. And as you can see, Jira automatically added three columns to do in progress and done. This is a foundation of your project. Now that we have set up the project, let's customize it and tailor to your workflow needs. This will make much more easier to work with. Your board is divided to columns, which represent each status of your tasks. If you need any other columns, just simply click here plus and add what you need. For example, let's add status scheduled and it will be done status. Or for example, let's also try to create in approval status and it will be in progress. You can very easily try to change the position and you can create the status that you need, but please remember that the simple, the better. Now, if we create some task, like for example, social media post, here you have description to write what this task is about. Here you have assignee, let's assign it to me. Priority, if it's very urgent or not at all, let's make it, for example, medium. Here you have the start date. We will talk about it a little bit later, but let's create a simple task here. And this is how you move it when your work is moving forward. And let's make it scheduled. Now you can see the very little icon here, which means the issue type. Here we have task. Jira by default has um, three issue types. The most common issue types in Jira are epics. That means the larger part of the job, which means the larger part of the work that has to be done tasks, the single one task, and subtask for breaking down the task into a smaller steps. We know that in marketing, we can need a little bit different issue types, like for example, blog posts, social media posts, or YouTube content. So let's try to make it. Let's go to the project settings and don't be afraid of this. 
place. This is your command center. Here in details, you can change the name or the project key or also set up default assignee. So for example, if you work solo and all the tasks are yours, just put yourself as a project lead here and you're done. And how to add other people. So let's go to the access, add people, and just add here your coworkers' emails and add them. It's very simple. And here, choose issue type. Now, as you can see, we have already subtasks created, but let's add some more. Those are suggested, but we need something very different. Let's name it, for example, blog posts. Here you can put the description where it is and choose the icon you like, maybe this one. And let's create it. For example, I also use event issue types, social media issue type, YouTube video, and so on and so on. I actually divide it into the channels that I'm publishing the content, but feel free to do it wherever you need. To customize how this issue type will look like and which fields we need. So by default, we have always summary and description. Summary is always required, so don't move it. And here we have context fields like status, assignee, labels, start date and due date. I highly recommend it using the due date field because it works really good with the calendar feature, which I will be talking about in a minute. So for example, you don't need the team here. You can simply drag and drop it. If there isn't any field that suits you, you can also create a field. Here you have some options like, for example, short text or drop down. For example, here you can put like company blog, I don't know, CSR blog, whatever. And you can save these changes. And here we have our drop down field. So this is the place where you decide how your issue type will look like and what fields will be inside. So now when we create a blog post type, you will have, for example, I don't know, Team 25 announcement, and you should have here blog to choose. When you create it, you will see the blog, CSR blog chose here. One more thing that can be quite crucial here. Here you have the fields on the middle of the board and those context fields are displayed on your right. So do how it's better for you. I prefer it that way. So now when we go to the board, we will see this block field from this set. So you can, for example, upload the LinkedIn icon. Okay, let's create some more tasks in the meantime. Okay, I've done some tasks and now let's take a look at the calendar feature. It's right here. If you stay consistent with putting the due date field, you will have very nice publishing calendar that is crucial for marketing. So for example, as you can see, each task is displayed on the date that I set up in the due date field. Also, you can see here unscheduled tasks. So Team 25 announcement doesn't have the due date. Let's put it here and let's make it to done to see how it looks like. And if something is done, it's displayed on green with a little bit underline here. It's displayed in green as a done. So as you can see, this can be really a game changer because it's very easy to stay up to date with your work. Let's go back to the board. One more thing I would like to talk about is filtering here. So here you have lots of options to filter your tasks like assignee, so all the people in your team category, or for example, issue type. If I will choose only issue type for blog post, I can see here two tasks filtered by it. And if you want to clear it, just clear it. There are very nice way of 
categorization in Jira are labels. Here you can create the label as partnership, for example. If you don't have any labels, you just type it here, click enter, and it's already created. You can, for example, instead of creating new issue types, you can do it that way. So for example, here we can choose label like blog. You can also have more than one label here. And then here in filtering, you will see those labels and simply you can filter by it. So those are the most crucial things, very essentials, how you can get your board for the first time organized in a simple way and start using it as your marketing project management tool. Before we wrap up, let's talk about one bonus thing, automations. Okay, so Jira in automation allows you, for example, to create repetitive tasks automatically, which saves so much time. So here are a few examples for marketing, like automatically create a task for your monthly newsletter or set up a rule that reassign tasks in for review column to your manager or schedule recurring tasks for metrics updates or campaign reporting. So it's quite easy to configure. Let's take a look at it. We need to go back to project settings, automation, and here we are. Here you will see every rule that you already created. And let's create a rule. Maybe let's start with something simple, like each week create a task for metrics analysis. So it's very logic. So first, let's keep the store here. Okay, first we need a trigger. So we want now, for example, to create tasks that appears each week. So let's go with scheduled. Then what happened? We create tasks. Here, when you go back, you can see the start date, when it will be ending, you can put never ends, how many times during the weeks, which, which day, and what time. So here you basically set up all the time things. And now here you have to choose the project. Of course, it will be marketing project, meaning same project, issue type, you can, you can choose. So let's make it task and summary, for example, metrics, weekly metrics. You can put the description here. And click next. You can see there are more of options here like add conditions or add some branches, but this is the easiest way to set it up. And let's turn it. Let's name it weekly metrics. And it's okay. And it's done. So every week on Thursday at 9 a.m., you will have the new tasks on your board automatically created. And yes, that's exactly how you can get started as a marketer with Jira. Take a look at the description where I link more videos that can be useful for you. In second part, I will dive more into other Atlassian tools that I use as a marketer, like Atlas, Confluence or Loom. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment and I will try my best to answer them.